Hey. She's two years old and fighting for her life. How you may be able to help her live a little longer. Tonight, a two-year-old is fighting for her life in desperate need of a liver transplant. As Fox SA's Yami Virhan explains, the little girl needs a living donor. She's two and she's fighting for her life. Two-year-old Camila Jamilet Richardson has been waiting for a miracle for a while. Que me ayuden a que alguien me pueda dar un trasplante para mi hija porque es mi única hija y tengo miedo que algo le pase. Camila Jamilet is one of seven children in our area who need a liver transplant. Doctors at University Health Transplant Institute are now looking for a living liver donor a surgery that is only being done at the Transplant Institute here in Texas. When the liver begins to fail, we really are in a race against time to try to prevent it or slow it down. But there's a point at which we can't offer any further treatment except for a transplant. What has made things more difficult is that Camila Jamilet is partially under the care of the state of Texas after her mother missed appointments due to the death of her only living relative. Entonces yo me tuve que regresar para Ciudad Juárez. Este, y ellos me dieron permiso solamente tres días, pero como yo tenía que... Um, reclamar el cuerpo. Thanks to state employees who wish to remain anonymous, Fox SA was informed how critical the need for a living donor is for the little girl. A living donor who in less than two months will have their liver back to its regular size. When we put a healthy portion of a liver from a live donor, that liver will grow to the full size and the donor uh, the person who donated that liver, at, like I said, in as quickly as two months. In a world of red tape and bureaucracy, we called one of the local state representatives who has been involved in many of the child protective stories that we have done in the last two years. So what I did is I called the DFPS. We got the ball rolling. State Representative Lujan contacted Commissioner Stephanie Muth, who's in charge of the Department of Family and Protective Services. First, I want to say thank you for bringing it to our attention. It's a single mom with this child whose brother was killed. Uh, the mother's uh, brother was killed in, da in El Paso, and she had to go and identify the body. And, and uh, all of this putting on her with, with no real family down here, and then now with her child... Um, waiting for a transplant. The process normally would be that the family whose child needs a transplant gets trained on how to get the word out because in this case, the state has temporary custody and mom has no family. Very little has been done to get the word out since she took a turn for the worst. In this case, because the state has custody of the child, nothing's really being done about getting the word out. So. Uh, a lot of the CPS workers have taken it upon themselves to spread it there, but we haven't been able to get it out, and and we need to look at that. So after all this is done, I'm going to look at that process. As we need to improve that. All we can do now is make the call or go online and fill out the form to see if you're a candidate. Jamie Virgen, Fox SA.